Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Celestial Storm video. Today guys, we're going to be looking at a Swampert Ninetales deck. Before we end the video, I do want to thank you guys for all the support and uh, everything on the Celestial Storm content. This has been a really good week or so for me. Um, it's just been making me really happy to see all the growth and all the support that the videos have been getting. Um, so yeah, I just want to thank you guys for that. Anyways, let's get into the deck, which is a Swampert Alola Ninetales deck. Now, Swampert is a very interesting card because it's very similar to Zoark GX. Um, it's got the ability Power Draw, um, which is a better version of Zoark's trade, which we know Zoark is probably the best GX in the format right now. Once you're in turn before you attack, you may discard a card from your hand if you do draw three cards. That is a very strong ability. It's one extra card than Zoark. However, there's a drawback to Swampert. It is a Stage 2 Pokemon. And that means you have to use Rare Candy to get it into play. You know, Zoark's a stage 1, very easy to get into play. Swampert's a stage 2, it's a little bit harder to get into play. So Swampert definitely has its drawbacks. Um, its attack Hydro Pump isn't that amazing either, in all honesty. It's a little a little hard to really get this going. Um, does 80 plus 20 more damage times the amount of water energy attached to this Pokemon. Um, it's not bad. Thankfully, we do have Aqua Patch support and stuff like that. It is just unfortunate that its damage output is kind of odd. Um, you might have to use cards like Counter Energy and Super Boost Energy and Aqua Patch as a way to fuel this guy up. But other than that, Swampert is not a bad card at all for a Stage 2 Pokemon. Now, the best part of it is just Ninetales. Um, Alola Ninetales GX seems to be a really good partner with Swampert. Um, it provides that one-shot attacker. Um, Ninetales can be a lot more useful than you think. I was testing this deck out last night. I found that Ninetales was a big player in a lot of matchups where Blizzard Edge needed to do 190 or 160 damage take a clean one shot um it also has ice blade and ice path ice path is really strong um, ice blade can be really useful to snipe stuff when you need to power or soften stuff up to be killed by even swampert or blizzard edge so well nine tails gx is a great backup attacker in this deck plus we already need vulpix in this deck for beacon to be able to set up our board so nine tails just seems like a perfect fit we don't play any baby nine tails in this deck um as you see there is no baby a little nine tails Something you could consider playing is that, um, but it's up to you. I don't think it's needed. I'd rather take the one shot with Blizzard Edge. Um, and that's really all we have for Pokemon. We are playing a 4-1-4 Swampert line. We're going really heavy on the Swamperts today. Um, again, once we get a few Swamperts in play, Power Draw is getting us an insane amount of cards every turn. Um, we are playing a 1-1 one -one Macargo line also. Smooth Over is just a really good ability. We know that um, Macargo Zoark is already looking like it's going to be a very good archetype because it allows you to just put any card you want on top of your deck, and then you power draw for that card, and it, you can get you anything, right? It gets you a Swampert, a Ninetales, an Aqua Patch, a Puzzle of Time Piece. Just a very good ability to have with these type of decks where you get to draw cards. So Macargo is an amazing one of in this deck, in my opinion. Um, we have our two Lele's, of course, for Wonder Tag. Um, now, originally, I actually had Electro GX in this deck. I was testing this deck on stream, but I did have an Electrode in this deck. Um, but I found that Electrode wasn't really needed. I feel like Electro GX... Didn't, you know, I didn't need it, so I scrapped the Electrode, and I just ended up throwing in another Ninetales line, and Ninetales proved to be a very versatile card to have in this deck, and a pretty good backup support card, because I feel like if you make Swampert attack by itself, it's not going to cut it, its damage output is awkward, it's really hard to one-shot, um, it can two-shot a lot of the times, but I feel like you do need that nice backup attacker that provides you with a lot of support, like Ninetales has tankiness, thanks to its GX attack, um, it's got a really good one-shot attack. Sniping also is really good. Um, so Ninetales just seems to be the best support card for this deck. For a backup card. We're going to the items now. We got four Aqua Patch. One of the most crucial cards in this deck is Aqua Patch. Two of them will build up our Swampert or Ninetales. One Field Blower. I wish we could play two for room, but we do have four puzzles to back that up. Four puzzles is already really good with Zork, but the fact that you're drawing an extra card instead of two with Swampert, it's really easy to get your puzzle pieces. Plus, we have Macargo, so Puzzle of Time shouldn't be too hard to pull off all the time. Get us back a lot of important resources. It's kind of also why we only play three copies of Rare Candy, because we don't need to go four Rare Candies into your Swampert. We can get away with playing three because you already kind of have um, Puzzle of Time to get your Rare Candies back. We got one Stretcher to be able to get our Pokemon back. Um, we got four Ultra Balls to be able to search for our Pokemon. Two Bridget's. You know, Bridget is already a really nice card in these type of decks. We already know Bridget's a good discard bait in Zoark decks also. They play high counts of Bridget, discard them later on. We are going to play two in this deck today um, so that we can pull off a turn on Bridget a little bit easier. Two Cynthia's for draw, two Ends, two Sycamores. We don't need to go insane on the draw only because Power Draw is so good 
Like, you don't need to go crazy on the draw support. I do kind of like having three ends in this deck, though. Um, but, yeah, we need room for stuff like Guzmas, which we only played two copies of. Um, we got three choice bands for the extra 30, very crucial for Ninetales and Swamper. We got one Floatstone for retreat, and uh, the energy. Okay, here we go. We got th uh, seven basic waters, two DCEs, one counter energy, one super boost energy. I got a lot of this inspiration kink um, for this list. Came from Omnipoke for the energy. Um, I thought Omnipoke's list he did was pretty good. And I was like, okay, this is actually a really interesting energy count. Um, super boost energy I would never have considered if I built this deck from scratch, though. Knowing that, counter energy is really good for Swampert. Provides a double water energy in situations. Two DCs can be good for nine tails, good for Swampert, and seven waters. So it's a very, very clean energy count. It's a little scrambled. We have a different type of energy. But I think it works out in the end because they all kind of support each thing. Um, so yeah, let's go find some matches with the Swampert Ninetales deck here on PDCGO. And uh, let's see if this deck has any potential right now. I do think Pulse Rotation in this deck will also be pretty good. So we'll definitely look at it then. Um, but I'll catch you guys in just a minute. Alright guys, let's go find some matches with our Swampert Ninetales deck. See what we can play against here on PDCGO. And uh, we'll see. Looks like we're playing against... Uh, annoyingly, maybe Greninja, which I really hope is not the case. Um, but we are facing down a Swamper, so we might be against a Swamper deck. We'll have to see, though. So we'll see what we start with. That, okay, that's not a bad hand at all. Double bull picks. We do have uh, Bridget also, which is definitely pretty good. So we have a pretty solid starting hand here, which is nice. Pretty good hand. Okay, looks like we're playing against a Mirror Match. Now... A mirror match is interesting. Uh, we'll have to see if he's playing his own variant with like nine tails and stuff. Ooh, that three card hand is nice. We do get to go first too, which is really big. So we'll be able to get a free Bridget here. Well, let's just check the deck. Slugma's prize. That's rip. I was going to get a Slugma here. Uh, I think we just go triple Mudkip then. Yeah, I think triple Mudkip's fine. We'll have to see what his build is using, though. Um, I mean, I don't even think he's playing Macargo either. I didn't see a single, like, Macargo line, so. Like, no fire types. It was literally just water and colorless. So, who knows? I doubt he's playing Macargo. We'll have to see what other Pokemon he has in his deck. He just concedes. I mean... That wasn't even the greatest... I didn't have the greatest hand either. Um, I don't think I was going to win next turn. But my boy just conceded. And we're going to get a bunch of coins here to be able to buy a pack. Which we'll buy after our next game. Um, Alright. Let's just see what we play against next. Hopefully we get a better match here. That was a pretty pitiful game. Not going to lie. That was pretty pitiful. We'll do another game though with the Swampert deck. Um, let's see. Playing against Malamar Necrozma, this is a pretty bad matchup, in my opinion, um, because there's so many ways they one-shot you here. Not saying we're going to lose, but winning this game might actually be a lot harder than I think. We do win the coin flip, so that's a bit of a positive. Okay. Win go winning the coin flip is a good sign. We're going to mulligan a bit. Okay. Let's see what we get off this mulligan. Hopefully we get a good turn one, and that's kind of what it comes down to. If we don't get a turn a good turn one here, um, we're screwed. And okay, Lele start, not a good turn one. As long as our other Lele's not prized, we should be able to get a Bridget off though. But not the greatest start when you start Lele. So we'll have to get rid of probably N and Nine Tails. Alright, do we have our Bridget's prize? Yeah, one is prize. That was actually kind of close. We're going to have to dump this DC too, which I don't like doing, but we're going to have to, to be able to do Bridget. I am worried about Parallel City again though, so we'll go probably Mudkip, 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 Vulpix. We're going to retreat into Vulpix here, and we'll have to see if we're safe. Alright, I could have done Puzzle to like guarantee I draw something, but... There's no point. Now, I could actually just go Ninetales next turn, and I don't hate that. I kind of do want to get damage on this Necrozma. This deck is very annoying to play against, but also very, very scary because they just shred through your... They shred through your Swampers and Ninetales like it's nothing. This is why this is probably one of our worst matchups, is 
they just plow through our entire deck. So it's not going to look like it's going to be a very fun game. And they get Turmer Bridget. And yeah, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. They got a very good start there. I think Swampert gets better pulse rotation. I do think it's nice so that we get to test it out now while it's still good and well. We still have it in like the normal standard, but even though while it has access to puzzles, I just, I don't know. Swampert just doesn't seem like a good deck. I don't know. I think it just loses to too many archetypes that one shot. I think its Buzzle matchup is miserable. I think its Necrozma matchup is also pretty miserable. I think it just has a lot of bad matchups on the board. I don't think this deck has what it takes to be good, but we're going to be testing it anyways and see how we even do with it, but I'm already feeling like this game is not going to end very well for me. Just saying. This, this game probably won't go the way we want it to go. And judging from his turn one here, he's going to get a very strong start, and that's not good. We might even just get KO'd next turn by Nick Rossman. So, I'm not looking forward to this game, as you could probably tell. And I don't know if I actually want, like, if I do Nine Tails, I'm not guaranteed to get that last DC, so I don't know. But I do kind of want to get damage on this Necrozma, though, because it's going to be a pain in the butt to deal with, because it's so tanky. So I don't know if I want to get damage on it now, or I want to wait. He's going to parallel me, which I'm fine with. I mean, it's annoying that he's playing it, but I don't really care about Lele. Um, we'll have to do Cynthia. I can't play Nine Tails down, and he might just knock it out next turn anyways. Wow, okay, we didn't get a Swamper there. Um, we do have Beacon, though, which can get us a Swamper and a Marsh Stomp. <coughs> Alright, let's see what we can do here. Swamper and Marsh Stomp is good. Now, we're 100% going to get KO'd here. Without a doubt, we're going to go down. Um, I am scared, though, of him even Guzmin up my Lele. <laughs> Sorry about the sneezing. I am scared of him Guzme my Lele though. And he has a Sycamore in his hand. No, a Styla. Okay. We'll see what he grabs here. This might give us an extra turn to maybe do some good mm, some other things. That's actually not bad. Oh, he's just gonna grab float. So it looks like he's just gonna knock out Vulpix, which I'm fine with. If I can get my counter energy here, um, I can at least two shot this Necrozma, and that's what I'm aiming to do is to at least try and two-shot this thing, so we'll have to see if we're able to pull that off. But yeah, Vulpix did his job. We're getting decently set up here. Better setup than I thought we would have against a matchup like this, so that's good. Alright, let's see what we top deck. Aqua Patch, don't need it. Um, go Marsh Taunt. Rare Candy Swampert. Swampert also gets KO'd just by double Photon Geyser Malamar, which is very painful. Uh, we're going to power draw away Choice Band? Oh, I really don't want to do that, but it's the only thing I can think of. Okay, we got DC, so we're at least going to two-shot him. We didn't get the greatest hand off that. I think I have to do this, because we're going to get KO'd next turn, probably. Um, wow. Alright, well... We're going to have to burn a puzzle to be able to pull this off. That's fine. Um, that's not the worst cards to get off that. And we'll just hit him for a nice solid 130. So we're getting okay damage on him. I could have just not attached the choice man and done it anyways. But the more damage, the better, right? I think this is fine. Um, he could even be sniped off by Ice... No, he can't. What am I saying? No, you get what I mean, right? He can be KO'd by Ice Blade in the active. I don't know. So we'll have to see what my opponent does here. Does he even have a supporter for next turn? He just Skylid for a Floatstone. If he doesn't KO my Swamper this turn, we have a really big turn to potentially make a good comeback. Or not a comeback, but get into a position where, like, we're not going to need a comeback, is what I meant to say. He only has one, only has two seconds. Dang it, dude. This is the problem with Swamper. It's so weak. It's so easy to KO. And its damage output is just not the greatest. This is my problem with it. We're just going to get trucked by this Necrozma. So, I'm not feeling this. <sighs> Even if we do knock him out, yeah, so, I don't know. This matchup is going to go so bad, I can feel it. We are definitely in trouble. Um... <sighs> Okay, 
encounter the Swampert Aqua Patch. We'll bring out Lele. I know it's weird. Hopefully we just end up drawing something good here, but I think this is the better thing to do. I can always Guzma if I need to, but I, I don't know. <sighs> rip these draws. Rip these draws. This is the problem with Swampert. We don't have a float. We can't... Uh, we knock, if they we knocked him out this turn, we might have been okay as long as he doesn't fall with a knockout, but... This is the problem with Swampert, guys. This is why it's not that great right now in our current standard format. I think I'm going to do a really crazy play, but I think this is kind of my last resort here. I'm going to do Water Reserve. I'm actually going to hold that. I'm going to do Water Reserve. Um, I really hate this because he can just easily get out of this, but I have to thin out the deck, guys. I really do. I need to thin out the deck here as much as I can. It's kind of the only way I can do it. We are drawing not the greatest cards right now. So, it's not great, but I kind of had to. I could have attached an energy. However, I have a feeling he's going to just have a Guzma in his hand. Because, you know, of course he will, right? Of course he does. So, if he knocks out Swampert, I can then use this Mudkip. Maybe get a Rare Candy Swampert next turn. And then cast the counter energy that way. That's my plan. And that's why I am actually not... Um, he's just gonna knock me out of Ugh, This is just... This is why Swampert doesn't work, guys. Ugh. I doubt he's gonna knock me out of Ultimate Cross. No, obviously he won't do that. But... Yeah. He's gonna end me to 6. That's fine. I get a better hand, hopefully, off of this. I need, I really need to get my Stretcher. We're at a, we're at a nine tails Or a double puzzle, at least. Okay, we got Stretcher. We got... Okay. That's actually an okay hand. I can work with that. He has knocked me out with Dawnwing, though. This is not good. I might have to gamble here and hope I get that float stone. I maybe two float stones is better. I don't know. This deck really needs it just needs too much of a crazy setup to work. Guys, this is just this is not fun and not good at all. Okay, we got Aqua Patch, so that's good. Um, we'll stretch your shuffle back our guys. We'll get two mud kips and a nine and a nine tails back. Um, we'll power draw away one of my waters. Do they have any psychics in the discard? Ooh, okay. We drew a puzzle, uh, it's not really helping. We can't do double puzzle, which is a little sad. I mean, I guess we already did use a puzzle earlier on, so I guess it kind of works out, I guess, in the end. Um, okay. What are the odds in my last aqua patch? Because I can always just attach and retreat. I think I'm going to gamble. I'm gonna gamble here. Aqua Pat. Okay, there we go. The gamble actually paid off. That actually worked and paid off. My favorite. Uh, we didn't get a great hand though. Now, are we gonna get Kale Balkan across my next turn? Yes, 100%. But in the meantime, we get to do this. I do wish we had our other Lele though. Um, but this is kind of my last ditch effort is just Hydro Pump. Not even KOing him. That 10 short. Wow, Swampert, really. Uh, Swampert is so weak, guys. <laughs> the 170 game. I guess we get Sniper with Nine Gales next turn. If we can top deck, I guess our DCE. No. That's not gonna work out. I don't know. I mean, if we do get DCE, I guess we can knock out Ultra Necrozma. There is hope. I, there might be hope, but I don't know. I doubt it, but. It's gonna do what we do. I'm actually, it'd be better to top deck a Rare Candy so we can just get Swampert right off the gate. Ooh, sad face. Does this mean he doesn't have a knockout? Does this mean he doesn't have a KO, guys? This this is a turning point. This is the turning point. Does he not have a knockout? Ooh, he may not have it. No, he's attacked. What? So he has to have the knockout. I don't know what that sad face meant, though. I'm very confused. What did he mean by that frown face? He doesn't have it. Ooh, hallelujah. Okay. You know what? We might be able to do something here now that he okay, we do multiple ball. Maybe not so much. But, you know, we can work with it. Um, I definitely think the fact that we get an extra power draw here is huge. 
We're gonna get rid of Vulpix, I think. I'm sorry, buddy. I don't even think Nine Tails is really that good right now. Ooh, we got Float. This could be really good. Um, we know Swampert will 100% go down next turn. Thankfully, he can't do Moon's Eclipse. Subsequent sign. Um, we used our Marsh Tomp Rip, so we're gonna have to do Scythia for now. But if we can get another Swampert down this turn... Nice. Okay, that was close. I didn't think we'd actually get him. Okay. I really want to get my last puzzle piece here, too. That could be really good. Um, so we'll power draw, get rid of the Ultra Ball again. Might be my last one, but that's fine. Alright, come on, puzzle piece. No, we didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll just uh, Hydro Pump knock him out. Uh, maybe the puzzle piece is prized. Uh, let's see what we get here off the prizes, so. Full picks and Bridget. Okay, Bridget can be just discarded. We're actually really low on cards once again, though. We, jeez, we've been through this deck so quick, I didn't even realize. Okay, so, he will KO us here. And, okay, I think that's game. He just put another option to cross him down. And he attaches the right energy to it. We're screwed. We're screwed. Alright, well, at least we did something. Um... Not very fun, though. Maybe I should have just kept the Vulpix in case I actually can actually snipe this guy next turn. Maybe if we did that, we could have won. I don't know. I mean, he hasn't even played a single Guzman yet. So, you never know. Anything is possible. I, we're not going to be able to KO this Necrozma here, sadly. Um, we did get rid of his float, but again, he's just going to mount on and do that. So, it's not going to matter. Still have a long way to go to, lo to lose the game, though, so that's a good sign, I guess. Again, we are low on cards. Do we have any ends left? We got one left. Okay, we still have our other puzzle. We need to get it back. There's the end. Okay. We'll power draw, get rid of Bridget. We haven't used my cargo. I think it's prize, though. Actually, no, it's not. No puzzle piece. Is it not in the deck? I think my puzzle got prized, guys. Yeah. My last puzzle's prized. No! Um. Yeah. My last puzzle piece is prized. That's just not good. Uh, let's just open a pack here, guys. Let's just forget that game even happened. And I need to buy it from the shop. Let's just forget that game even happened. But yeah, that's kind of why I don't... I mean, I already said like a trillion times in this video, probably, but... That's why I'm not a fan of Swampert. Um, right now, anyways. I think Swampert's decent post-rotation, but just right now, like... You just saw how badly we lost there. Like, we got one turn where we got to... Uh, where he missed a KO, and that was really nice, but... Just not much we could have done there. Uh, we got Deoxys. Alright, not a great pack not a great game. I'll see you guys in just a moment though with another match with our Swamper deck where hopefully things go a bit more smoothly. So catch you guys in just a sec. Alright guys, let's go get one last match with our Swamper deck here and alright, here we go. Let's uh, find another game. So, we're gonna be up against uh, Metagross I guess? Yeah, this is most likely Metagross. Depending if he's playing Delmize or not, um, we might be in trouble because Metagross Delmize one shots through Swamper and that ain't fun now. It's actually letting me go first for some reason, okay. That's actually really good when we're playing a stage 2 deck like this, so I ain't complaining. If you just play Metagross, I'm a little salty also because Ninetales is weak to metal, and Ninetales is going to be completely useless in this matchup, so not great. Not great at all. Okay, we do start Mudkip. Uh, we do have Lele though for Bridget, so that's good. We'll see if he's playing Metagross or not. It's either Metagross or he's playing Stack Attacka. We'll have to see. It looks like he's playing Stack Attacka. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So, we can draw Ultra Ball here. Or, Ultra Ball, sorry. One of our rare candies. That would be really nice. Let's just check. Do we have our Macargo? Yeah, we're good. We got most of the boys in the deck now. Despite him playing Metals, I think Ninetales is still an okay bet here. Um, kind of wish I was playing Babe Ninetales. Because I honestly don't know if he has a way to stop it. So we'll just go double Mudkip, Slugma. I'm actually also really tempted to Ultra Ball here for like a Marsh Tomp for next turn. Or even Macargo. Just help the odds of drawing the Bear Candy. I'm gonna go for it. 
We're gonna get rid of Swampert and we stretch it back. Um, this forced him to end me, but we can try and. I didn't even. See what? I clicked it. What? Okay. Okay. You you can tell the Swampert video is not great when uh, when I don't even click. Oh my goodness. Okay, he's actually putting the Cartana down now, which is good because we play a lot of energy. He's gonna end me anyway, so it didn't matter. Um, wow. What a dumb misplay, though. Not that it matters because he is ending me, but yeah, that makes me stu feel stupid. We don't even get Rare Candy Swampert here. Great. Let's see what we draw. Rare Candy. Um, okay. I think I'm just gonna have to go Beacon here. That's fine. We don't have a bad hand at all. I think our hand is actually good for next turn. So we'll beacon for Swampert. And Swampert. That's good. Might end me again. Um, I was thinking grabbing Ninetales, but we're going to get killed by a Beast Trade anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. Again, I think Ninetales is going to be used sparingly just because of how many metal type attackers he's using. So it's not going to matter. He's going to Ultra Ball here. We'll see if he has a supporter for next turn. He's got three cards in his hand. Unless he's grabbing a Tapu Lele with his Ultra Ball, he will not have one. And he's going to get rid of a B-String and a Rod. So that's some good discards. And he's forced to grab a Lele. That is pretty rough for my opponent. He'll get what he needs, but it's pretty rough. The only problem with this hand is we aren't really able to do much with it. I might have to bring a Lele. I don't want to, but I need something to take a hit here, I think. So we're going to see Sycamore. I'm actually glad he's not attaching to like Cartana or anything. I don't want that Cartana to go back in the deck. And there's just one stack attack. One stack attack. So he just had room for a single stack attack. That's good. So Beast Trade will kill me. Um, I might have to bring out Lele here. I have to really hope that we this works for us. Alright, let's see what we draw. Okay, we drew Aqua Patch. We're going to have a Dublay. Double, double, Swamper. For some reason it's not letting me click it and drag it. Alright. So, double Swampert's good. Maybe we can get the super boost energy off this turn. We're not going to KO him because he's got 220 HP. Um, we'll power draw away probably the field blower. See what this gives us. There's Macargo. That's what we're looking for. And double puzzle. Okay, we can get triple Swampert out this turn. Good turn to do it. Good turn. Alright, nice. We got three Swampers out. This is amazing. This, guys, is where things get interesting. So, already right off the bat, we're, we're doing a lot better than the last match. And we still have Macargo to work with. So we're going to do Smooth over here, and I am really looking for that Float Stone. And there it is. Now, I am scared of Ace Roller and Max Potion, but Swampert's really beefy. Um, it's definitely going to take a hit from these raids, so it's not going to matter too hard. Um, so, Power Draw, get rid of this Water Energy. See what this gives us. Okay, more waters to work with. I think we'll just attach the water this turn. And just double aqua patch one of our swamperts. Um I don't even know if I actually I could actually Guzma this turn. I don't feel like it. Do I want to do another power draw? I guess we'll get rid of the other rare candy. That's fine. I'm gonna probably try and get another mud kit this turn. No, Vulpix works too, I guess. That's fine. And uh, we'll retreat. Attach the choice band to do extra damage. I guess we'll let him. Why not? So that was a really big turn for us. We got Resty Stretcher for next turn, which is good. So, alright. We're already off to a pretty good start here. And we'll just Hydro Pump for a nice solid chunk of damage. 160 is not bad. So we're doing 170 with Swampert. If that's second attack. Was so, if we get into the water, we can knock out Kartana if he does end up healing this. But again, I don't want to do that. Again, that Cartana can easily just come back into his deck at some point, and then he has Slice Off to get rid of my Super Boost Energy, or my counters, or DCEs. Just gonna Ultra Ball, get rid of Choice Band and Float. I am kind of worried about a Max Potion or an Ace Roller this turn. We'll have to see. He might actually just retreat. He does have one retreat. I think he's gonna retreat here. If he does that, I'm gonna use this turn to Guzma Knockout and Nagana so please do that. Yes, he's doing it. All right, I was correct. So we're gonna knock him again. It only take our two prizes, or we can stop. <sighs> Never mind. I was gonna say we could stop him out for nine tails, but we can do that anyways. I don't think he's list playing an insane amount of max potions, so we can still smack it with Swamper. There's Mudkip. So we'll power draw, get rid of 
Ultra Ball. Okay. There's Super Boost Energy. We already played it though. Um, okay. I'm actually tempted to retreat Swamper here. The reason I want to do this is because I do want to potentially maybe even stall up stack attack. How many Guzmas do we have left? We got our other one. I do have a very good reason for wanting to do this. Um, maybe... No, it's not going to work. I think we just have to smack him. Never mind. My plan did not go the way I was wanting it to go. I wanted to set up Super Boost Energy for next turn. It's not going to happen though. It's fine. We'll just power draw this water away. Alright, we'll play Aqua Patch again. I don't know how many Aqua Patches we've played. Okay, we got one left. And I'm gonna hold the hand, that's for sure. And we're just gonna Hydro Pump him for another 160 damage. He's got one card in his hand, though, and he didn't do a supporter last turn, I don't think. So we might be okay here. He might just have, like, a really bad hand. Let's see what he does next. He probably will just retreat into the other again. And he'll, no, he's going to let me knock it out. Probably because he wants to do Beast... Or not Beast Rain. Beast Rain. That's fine. So we will go lose our Swampert. We'll be able to shuffle them back. So it's all good. Put down another Mudkip. We'll build a Stretcher. We'll shuffle... Shuffle back the Mudkip, the Swampert, and the Vulpix. We'll attach, retreat. Hmm. Uh, he definitely wants me to knock him out. That's the thing. Um, I think we'll get our last Aqua Patch here. He definitely wants me to knock him out. He I, Does he have B-String in his hand, though? He's got two cards in his hand. So I don't know what's going on. I think he wants me to knock him out? I don't know. Like, yeah, again, he's only got two cards. So I don't know what's really going on here. Um, he wants me to kill him, though, I think. I could use this turn to bring out that stack attack and just attack it now. He might have Guzma. I mean, I guess we'll just take the knockout. I'm fine with that. I can try and dig for that Swampert for next turn. Okay, we got him. No other double puzzles, so we'll just uh, knock him out, I guess. We'll take the knockout. He's got two cards. Well, he's gonna have three. What are the odds he has B-String? We'll see. I don't know if I have a puzzle prize, but now would be a really good time to get it. I, it looks like it's not. We have a massive hand, though. If he has Copycat, good riddance for me. No, he doesn't have B-String, I guess. No, he does. He can do assembly. Thankfully, though, it won't KO me. It actually only does 150 here, so... I'll survive. Swampert is being Yankee. And I can actually just put the Super Booster Energy on and knock him out here, I think is what I'm gonna do. Well, we need Rare Candy. If I even have Rare Candy. Yuck. I might. Well, we're gonna guarantee it was smooth over, and we have it nice. Oh, both puzzle pieces are prized. Interesting. Very interesting. Um, well, Power Draw, I'll probably just get rid of... That last Ultra Ball is kinda dead. Okay. No more Power Draws this turn, we don't wanna deck out. And before he does Team Rocket's handiwork. We're gonna sacrifice Swamper for the greater good. But... So how much are we doing? We're doing... I need to do the math real quick, sorry. Okay, so 100, 120, 140. 140. 160, 180, 200, 220. And we have to attach Choice Band and not come out here. Do I want to play Ninetales down? That's kind of risky, though. Yeah, I don't think I do. If he has Guzma, he KOs. We gotta hope we get both puzzles. We're short? What? Huh? Is Super Boost Energy glitched? What? What? 
It's super... Oh, no. I think... Oh, don't tell me super boost energy is glitched. No. Oh, my gosh. What? Are you actually kidding me? Now, the game is far from over, but... Why is super boost energy glitched? Uh, why is it glitched? Okay, um, oh man, I'm speechless. Okay, the game is far from over, but... That, that, that triggers me on a whole nother level, though. That is so triggering. And we didn't even get... Aw, oh, dang it. Our last two prizes are double puzzles. So that's going to make it a little harder to win. I think we can just attack with Lele. But, wow. I... Th that is just... That is incredible. That is incredible. Okay, well, there's no way we can, without our double puzzles, we can't, I mean, we can't even choice band. Uh, my goal, I think I just have to tag with Lele, though, for now. Dang. That is so upsetting. Um. Okay, we 100% have to end him here, I think. Man, that that is so dumb, dude. That I, I that actually that is that's so triggering on another level. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Let's guarantee Guzma. Oh, we have to tag with Lele. Just fatal, bruh. That is so sad, dude. That is tragic. Alright, well, well energy drive. We're not doing an insane amount, unfortunately. But it's the best I can do. I don't know. That is upsetting though. Um, I, I wish I could do Field Blower. If I had Choice Ban, I probably would win. I would win the game probably if that dumb, if that dumb Super Boost Energy wasn't glitched. Oh man. I just don't understand sometimes. Um, I don't know if we're doing enough damage here with DCE. We're doing 80. Yeah, we're not, I don't think we're doing enough. We might be. There's nothing else I can really do, though. There's no way I can really build up any more attackers. I think I'm completely out of energy. And with my double puzzles prize, there's not much I can do. I mean, I I could bring out Lele here, potentially. But I'll lose the game. Hold on, am I even winning? 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 40. I think I still have game. Is this game? Doesn't matter. I, I probably would have lost it. Oh, I won! Okay, never mind. I was right. The math was correct. There's my last two puzzle pieces. I'm going to wrap up the video there, guys. Um, that was a really nice game against Beastbox. Despite a very annoying glitch, we still were able to scrape through and win the game somehow. Um, but as said in that Malamar game, I don't think that Swampert is that great right now in the current format. I think post-rotation, I think Swampert has a lot of potential. I think an expanded Swampert is actually really powerful with Archie's ace in the hole. I think um, when Puzzle leaves, I think Night March could really adapt to a Archie's Puzzle build with, um, or not Archie's Puzzle, sorry, an Archie Swampert build. So I do think Swampert definitely gets a lot better. Um, I think it's good and expanded. I think Pulse Rotation Swampert's going to be a decent archetype for sure. Um, I think right now in the world's format, I think Swampert doesn't have what it takes. Um, I tried, uh, we did win a game against Beastbox, which is one of the more hyped up decks. Even with like a glitch that really was game breaking, we were still able to come out with a win. So it's still a very clutch game regardless. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe to help me on the road to 3k subs. And I'll catch you guys in another PCGO video. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys. Goodbye.